In previous tutorials, we covered dealing with offsets and constant values. This time, we have the same target value, but reaching and modifying it requires different offsets and search values, depending on whether the environment is 32-bit or 64-bit. To make our code more intuitive, we will automate the architecture check. Based on whether the process is 32-bit or 64-bit, we will use the correct values and offsets to find and edit our target. Instead of creating separate scripts or requiring manual selection, we will automate everything. This way, the script works seamlessly across different architectures, making the process efficient and intuitive. The script begins by hiding the Game Guardian interface to keep the process running in the background. It retrieves information about the target process. If the script cannot access this information, it displays an alert and stops execution. It prepares two key variables, one for the search value and another for the offset. These will be determined based on whether the process is running in a 32-bit or 64-bit environment. If the process is detected as 64-bit, the script displays a small notification confirming this and briefly pauses to ensure smooth execution. It then sets the appropriate search value and offset specifically for 64-bit architecture. This allows the script to locate and modify the correct memory addresses without any manual input. If the process is not 64-bit, the script assumes it is running in a 32-bit environment. It displays a notification confirming this and briefly pauses before setting the appropriate search value and offset for 32-bit architecture. This ensures the script adapts automatically, selecting the correct values without user intervention. The script now sets the memory range to anonymous, which is represented by the value 32. This is where most dynamic game values are stored. It searches for the target value using dword for byte data type. The search is performed with the sign equal flag represented by 53687912, which ensures the script looks for exact matches of the specified value.
Once the search is complete, the script retrieves up to 1,000 results and saves them to the list. Adding these results to the list helps keep track of potential addresses before clearing the search results to optimize performance and avoid unnecessary clutter. In this part, a new variable found match is initialized as false. This will later help track whether the target value has been successfully found and modified. The script retrieves the list of memory addresses stored in GameGuardian by using the getListItems function. This function fetches the memory addresses from the search results that were previously added to the list. These addresses are where GameGuardian found potential matches for the searched value. It will loop through these addresses to check and modify the values if necessary. In this section, we start a loop to go through each item in the list of memory addresses. The code checks the value stored at this target address using the getValues function, which retrieves the current value at the given address. The function is using the flag set to 4, which corresponds to dword. At this point, the script checks if the value at the target address matches the expected condition and proceeds to modify it if needed. The code checks the value retrieved from the target address. It looks at the first result in the list of values and compares it to 10. If the value is equal to 10, the script sets a variable called foundMatch to true. This indicates that the target value has been successfully located. After that, it will proceed with modifying the value or taking further actions as needed. Once the target value is found, the script prepares to modify it. It creates a table called modify, which will hold the new data. The address of the target is stored, and the flags are set to 4. The value to be set at that address is 0. Then, the script applies this change using set values. A toast notification pops up to inform the user that the offset has been found, and the script pauses briefly before breaking out of the loop to finish the operation. If the script does not find a match, meaning found match remains false, it displays a toast notification to let the user know that the search did not return any results. The script pauses for two seconds using the sleep function before moving forward.
It clears the list of results, which helps to keep the environment clean by removing any previously stored memory addresses. This ensures that the script is ready for the next surge or operation. By detecting the system architecture and using the correct values and offsets, the script efficiently searches, checks, and modifies target values, ensuring smooth execution without manual input. The result is an intuitive, automated solution for working with memory offsets in Game Guardian.